the cobra effect how incentives can backfire so let me tell you a story there was a time during uh, british rule in india that uh, uh, there were too many snakes in new delhi right there were too many snakes on the road and uh, the government thought that uh, uh, we should start an incentive plan so that people as start uh, killing and bringing snakes to us so they said that uh, whoever uh, you know brings the most rat sorry whoever brings the most snakes dead snakes to us we are going to give them money now logically it makes sense logically people are going to uh, pe- logically everybody wants money you're going to be like okay i want money so i can kill some snakes and i can give it to the government and the government is going to give me money wow that's amazing that's very logical that makes sense but in the real world what happened was completely different in the real world what happened was people started breeding snakes people started breeding snakes so that they can make more money right and the problem uh, became worse when it started so this is an example of how incentives can backfire uh this these kind of experiments are done you know around like in a lot of places around the world like there was a i think study in stanford or harvard or oxford some college some ivy league college where they try to incentivize monetarily incentivize uh students to kill rats because there were the, the colleges were becoming rat infested and they were like uh, why don't you go and kill some rats and bring it to us we are going to give you some money so the same thing happened there students started breeding rats and now there were more rats uh you know afterwards the problem became worse a lot of times we don't understand the second order consequences of the things that we are going to do right we uh kind of pretend or we think that human nature and human behavior is very logical and very straightforward that yeah we are going to do this then obviously this is going to happen and we always think that there is a linear progression with uh, uh human behavior but human behavior is very complex like we have a very complex system we have a very complex thinking system social system government system uh our incentive plans are also very very complicated so a lot of times when companies simply give incentives to their employees hoping that if we give enough incentives they are going to work hard it doesn't actually work right it can actually work against you let me give you another example right uh there was an experiment you can find it on google where uh they asked some children to paint and uh they you know they had they had two groups uh one group was a group in which they would get give incentives and another group was simply a control group in which there no incentives were given so what happened was uh, children who started getting paid to paint stopped painting earlier and they lost interest in painting very very quickly as opposed to children who did not get any social rewards who were doing it just because it was fun who were doing it just to socialize and have fun and they were not getting monetary rewards but they were getting uh, emotional incentives they were getting emotional rewards right for example they would enjoy painting so they would uh, see painting as a pleasurable as a enjoyable task and they would do it more than uh, the kids who are actually getting paid to paint right another thing is uh, they would get uh, you know appreciation they would get uh, social rewards that they would get appreciation they would get uh, validation they would get approval of the teachers and of other people if they do a very good job of painting so in order to get this these rewards they started painting more they started uh, you know like doing they started working even more hard another thing is uh, there are, there can be rewards uh, with self identity right with your self image so when students actually started to paint good right and uh, you know they got reinforced a uh, feedback from the teachers that you know you have a creative side i think you should build a creative side etc so this kind of became a part of their self image this kind of became a part of their identity and uh, uh, most of these students kept painting for like you know kept painting as a hobby for years later so this is another example where paying some somebody to do something directly is not as a uh, powerful because the, the moment you involve money or uh, the moment you involve any kind of financial in- incentive it becomes work 
then you know you cannot rationalize it you only see this as uh, i am doing this just because i'm getting money right i'm not doing this because i love it i'm not doing this because uh, this is enjoyable to me i'm not doing this because i'm actually interested in learning this and becoming better at this you actually uh, just you know just start chasing money at that point right so i think there is a quota or this is also something something that you can google the quote goes like this uh when when a metric becomes a goal it ceases to be a good metric right let me say that again when a metric becomes a goal it ceases to be a good metric this is applicable in sales marketing business entrepreneurship especially in marketing right because let's say you are a business and you want to hire a marketing agency you go out there you search for three four marketing agencies and you like this marketing agency and you give your business you give your account to this marketing agency now the marketing agency understand that the marketing agency is also a business like you they also want to cut cost cut time investment cut resource um you know like cut resource investment or resource allocation uh as much as possible so that they can increase profits okay but they have promised you moon and stars they have promised you that we are going to double triple your business we are going to do this we are going to get you so many impressions we are going to get you get you so many click through rates we are going to get you a lot of traffic on your website we are going to increase your sales etc etc they are they are saying everything that you want to hear right and you like them and you give your account to them now what they are going to do in order to keep you as a client for a long run because uh, agencies don't make money with uh, one time kind of client right they need uh, like they need repeat business they need like uh, uh, consumers so they need what is it what, what is that word that there is a word right for repeat purchases somebody yeah they need retainer clients so unless and until they have retainer clients they are not going to really make money so they for them the incentive to keep you as a client is much more higher so every uh, you know like month after month when you go on when you when you ask for the report they are going to give you all these reports they are going to show you all those numbers and a lot of times these numbers are going to be amazing they are going to be like look we ranked you ranked second on google search engine results page look you are getting so many tra- so much traffic look you are getting so much engagement on social media yeah you look your emails are getting so much click through rates but the thing is just because you are getting an engagement right just because you are prioritizing a metric it doesn't mean that the marketing is actually working for example uh, in one of the companies that i used to work before there was a marketing manager she was old like she was uh, at one level higher than me in the company's hierarchy and uh, our company was a b2b company so our company spec- our company uh, targeted uh small to medium brands in US Canada Europe Australia uh Southeast Asia Middle East uh these kind of markets like first world markets and they would also partner with other agencies to give them uh, uh what you got to give them performance help right to give to give them uh, performance marketing support and support with analysis number and all the technicalities of marketing right now a lot of people uh you know started throwing ideas at me since i was taking care of the content there a lot of people started throwing ideas at me like uh, rahul you know what you should do you should make some fun videos right there are a lot of trending reels on instagram you should make some fun videos and you should post it you should make some videos of you know like other uh, you know other companies make like for example uh, you know the client client expectation and actually what the client pays right so make some funny videos i am like okay fine this is you know a good strategy for maybe getting some kind of engagement within india within country but this is not going to help us get more leads this is not going to help us get more uh, sales right a lot of youngsters a lot of uh, people who are just entering marketing or people who are marketing professionals a lot of young people will engage with this content a lot of youngsters like in the 20s will engage with the con- with, with this content a lot of uh, kind of older people who are sitting at a, a decision making level are not going to engage with this content they are not going to even enjoy or search for this content this content is not even going to go on their radar so you will be able to show now this happens at every stage right 
what the way a uh, uh, agency manipulates a business so that uh, he they keep getting the business again and again in the same way the employees of the of the agency or the employees of any business manipulate the senior manager right the senior manager in the same way manipulate uh, you know or you can say creatively lie to uh, the stakeholders or the you know the owner or the founders of the company or the you know like people who are uh, you know like board of directors or whatever so this is something that happens there also like people just kind of show vanity metrics vanity numbers and they tell you a story that hey if this keeps on going for a long time you are sure gonna get success right so the same thing like i told my marketing manager that hey listen like we are not even targeting these like right now our goal is to uh, you know build engagement right now our goal is to build engagement from the right people we want to put uh, you know the traffic to our website but we want to put the traffic of the right people to the to the website not just anybody right but this is something that she could not understand for some reason like this is something that she was like no but everybody is uh, the, the the response was like this like, but everybody is posting uh, you know funny funny content Rahul. why are, aren't we posting funny content i'm like because uh, we are not a creative marketing agency we are not a social media marketing agency right the agency that we were, that we were working with like that was a hardcore technical programmatic agency they work with they had saas products they had uh, you know very they have a uh, really good technical expertise and this is how you know they should have positioned themselves themselves in the market not like a creative agency or a social media agency the marketing these two are very different so incentives and uh, you know like metrics can be misused they can be manipulated they can be uh, they can have a worse effect right they can hurt your business a little bit more if you're not careful with it if you don't understand how to actually do this so if you uh, you know run a business if you uh, you know are a kind of founder or the ceo or manager in a company this is something that you should look into this is something that you should understand this is something that you should take uh, you know to heart okay because this is actually something that is going to help you remove a lot of bottlenecks from your organization and also provide also take a critical look at yourself like are you actually just making the consumer happy or are you actually providing something to the consumer are you actually providing tangible value to the to your consumers to your clients this can understanding this obviously this is not going to be very uh, you know intuitive this is not going to be this is not going to make sense in the first time when you start to do this but eventually you will get a grab you will get a grip of it and you will be able to uh, you know solve this problem so i hope that you take this into account and uh, uh, manage internally and externally so yeah that there was a video about incentives i hope you like it if you like this video subscribe like the video share the video with other people thank you so much for watching bye bye